Why is it important to hope and trust in the Lord? What is the significance of Mary's visit to her cousin Elizabeth before the birth of Jesus? What made Elizabeth exclaim, "Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb?" All these questions and more answered during today's episode of Daily Reflections. The gospel today speaks of joy and hope in the Lord. God gives us supernatural joy with hope in his promises. There is a certain paradox for those blessed by the Lord. Mary was given the blessedness of being the mother of the son of God. That blessedness also would become a sword which pierced her heart as her son died upon the cross. To be chosen by God is an awesome privilege and responsibility. Mary received both a crown of joy and a cross of sorrow. Her joy was not diminished by her sorrow because it was fueled by her faith, hope and trust in God and in his promises. Jesus promised his disciples that no one will take your joy from you. The Lord gives us a supernatural joy which enables us to bear any sorrow or pain and which neither life nor death can take away. The gospel also emphasizes that they were filled with the holy spirit when elizabeth greeted mary and recognized the messiah in mary's womb they were filled with the holy spirit and with a joyful anticipation of the fulfillment of god's promise to give a savior what a marvelous wonder for god to fill not only elizabeth's heart with his holy spirit but the child in the womb as well john the baptist even before the birth of the messiah pointed to his coming and leaped for joy in the womb of his mother as the holy spirit revealed to him the presence of the king to be born the lord wants to fill each of us with his holy spirit the holy spirit is god's gift to us to enable us to know and experience the indwelling presence of god and the power of his kingdom the holy spirit is the way in which god reigns within each of us and then we have the saying blessed are you among women with the semitic expression which is equivalent to a superlative among women the evangelist wishes to attract the attention of the reader on mary's role to be the mother of the lord and then a blessing is reserved for her blessed are you as well as a beatitude it expresses mary's obedience to the divine will Mary is not only the receiver of a mystery which makes her blessed but also a person who knows how to accept and adhere to God's will. Mary is a creature who believes because she trusts in a simple word and which she has answered with her yes of love. And Elizabeth acknowledges this service of love identifying her as blessed as mother and blessed as believer. Mary is an archetype for all Christians in how to say yes to God. She desires to have a personal relationship with each of us. Mary models for us how to respond to this great invitation. She trusts that God wants to do this great work in her and recognizes what a glorious privilege this is for her. Here are some points for our personal reflection. Do you live in the joy and knowledge of God's indwelling presence with you through his holy spirit is my prayer the expression of a sentiment or celebration and acknowledgement of God's action Mary is presented as the believer in the word of God how much time do i dedicate to listening to the word of God these points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel and if you like our reflection do share the good news of our lord Have a good day and may God bless you all. Amen.